Greetings everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll be delving into the fascinating world of historical battles and strategies. Top 10 Most Interesting Historical Battles and Strategies Nantes Siege of Tenochtitlan, 1521 Hernan Cortes's Siege of the Aztec Capital Combining military tactics, alliances with indigenous groups, and the spread of disease to conquer the city. The Siege of Tenochtitlan in 1521 marked the culmination of Hernán Cortés's campaign to conquer the Aztec Empire. Cortés, a Spanish conquistador, arrived in Mexico in 1519 and began forming alliances with indigenous groups who were discontented with Aztec rule. These alliances provided Cortés with crucial support, including warriors, supplies, and valuable intelligence about the Aztec capital. Tenochtitlan, the capital of the Aztec Empire, was a magnificent city situated on an island in Lake Texcoco, connected to the mainland by causeways. Cortes and his forces, along with their indigenous allies, initiated a siege on the city. The Spanish used various military tactics, including siege warfare and assaults on key points of the city's defenses. One crucial factor that aided Cortes was the introduction of diseases, such as smallpox, to which the indigenous population had no immunity. The spread of these diseases devastated the Aztec population, significantly weakening their ability to defend the city. No.9 Battle of the Bulge, 1944 A surprise German offensive in World War II demonstrating the significance of deception and surprise in warfare. The Battle of the Bulge, also known as the Ardennes Counteroffensive, was a major German offensive campaign launched through the densely forested Ardennes region of Wallonia in Belgium, Luxembourg and France during World War II. It began on December 16, 1944, and lasted until January 25, 1945. Key points about the Battle of the Bulge. German Offensive. This surprise attack was Adolf Hitler's attempt to split the Allied forces in Northwest Europe by launching a Blitzkrieg-style assault through the Ardennes Forest, a region considered less fortified and lightly defended by the Allies. The Germans aimed to capture the vital port of Antwerp, disrupt supply lines, and force the Allies into negotiating a separate peace treaty. Deception and Surprise The success of the German offensive relied heavily on deception. The Germans utilized various tactics to mask their preparations, such as the creation of a fictional German army, the deployment of English-speaking German soldiers wearing captured American uniforms and radio silence. This led the Allies to believe that the Ardennes area was not a likely site for a major offensive. No.8 Battle of Salamis, 480 BC, Greek naval victory against the Persians during the Greco-Persian Wars, employing superior tactics and using the geography to their advantage. The Battle of Salamis in 480 BC was a pivotal naval engagement between the Greek city-states, led by Athens and Sparta, and the Persian Empire under King Xerxes I. It took place in the strait between the island of Salamis and the Greek mainland. After suffering a defeat at the Battle of Thermopylae and the sacking of Athens by the Persians, the Greek forces under the leadership of Themistocles devised a strategic plan to confront the Persian navy. The Greek fleet consisted of triremes, agile warships equipped with three rows of oars, while the Persian fleet boasted a larger number of ships. Greek unity. Despite internal conflicts and rivalries among the Greek city-states, they united to face the common Persian enemy. Themistocles' persuasive diplomacy managed to gather a significant Greek naval force. No.7 Battle of Stalingrad, 1942-1943 A pivotal battle in World War II involving brutal street fighting and strategic maneuvers, resulting in a turning point for the Eastern Front. The Battle of Stalingrad was a pivotal and brutal confrontation between the Soviet Union and Nazi Germany during World War II, lasting from August 23, 1942 to February 2, 1943. Here are the key aspects. Strategic importance. Stalingrad, a major industrial city on the Volga River, held immense strategic significance due to its railways, industry, and its symbolic value to both the Soviets and Germans. German advancement. The Germans aimed to capture Stalingrad to secure the southern flank, control the Caucasus oil fields, and weaken Soviet morale. Note 6. Battle of Alesia, 52 BC. Julius Caesar's siege of Vercingetorix's stronghold, showcasing brilliant engineering tactics, encirclement, and the use of fortifications. Absolutely, the Battle of Alesia was a pivotal moment in Julius Caesar's conquest of Gaul. It took place in 52 BC between the forces of Julius Caesar and the Gallic chieftain Vercingetorix. Alesia was a significant Gallic hill fort where Vercingetorix and his forces took refuge. 
When Caesar arrived at Alicia, he found it to be a heavily fortified position. To conquer it, he employed brilliant engineering strategies and tactics. Here's an overview of what happened. The fortifications. Outer fortifications. Caesar ordered the construction of extensive fortifications around Alicia to prevent any potential relief forces from entering and to contain Vercingetorix's army within the stronghold. Circumvallation Wall. Caesar constructed a massive wall encircling Alicia, designed to keep the Gauls inside and to protect his own army from external attacks. Contravallation Wall, realizing that he might face reinforcements trying to break the siege, Caesar built a second wall facing outward surrounding his own forces. This was to defend against potential attacks from the outside. Noint 5 Battle of Hastings, 1066, the Norman Conquest of England, where William the Conqueror defeated King Harold II, utilizing a feigned retreat tactic to break the Saxon lines. Absolutely, the Battle of Hastings in 1066 was a pivotal event in English history. It occurred on October 14, 1066, between the Norman-French army of William, Duke of Normandy, and the English army led by King Harold II. William, also known as William the Conqueror, had claimed that he was the rightful heir to the English throne, arguing that Harold had promised him the throne years earlier. When Harold ascended the throne, William gathered an army and set sail for England to claim his supposed right. The battle took place near Hastings, Sussex, at a site now known as Battle. Both armies were well matched, with the English forces positioned on higher ground, forming a shield wall. The Normans employed various tactics, including archery and cavalry charges, attempting to break the English defense. Nomatiur's four siege of Constantinople, 1453, the Ottoman conquest of Constantinople by Sultan Mehmed II, using cannons and innovative siege tactics to breach the city's walls, marking the end. The siege of Constantinople in 1453 was a historic event that marked the fall of the Byzantine Empire and the triumph of the Ottoman Empire. Led by Sultan Mehmed II, the Ottoman forces besieged Constantinople, which was the capital of the Byzantine Empire and one of the most strategically important cities in the world at that time. The Byzantine Empire had been in decline for centuries, and Constantinople had withstood numerous sieges in its history. However, Mehmed II was determined to conquer the city and had meticulously planned the siege for years. One of the key factors that contributed to the Ottomans' success was their innovative use of cannons and advanced siege tactics. Mehmed II employed a massive army that included soldiers from various backgrounds and utilized an array of cannons, including enormous bombards which were used to breach the city's massive defensive walls. The Ottomans also employed different tactics such as constructing a road to transport their ships over land, bypassing the chain barrier that protected the Golden Horn, a crucial harbor within the city. Known 3, Battle of Gaugamela, 331 BC, Alexander the Great's triumph over the Persian king Darius III, employing innovative tactics and exploiting weaknesses in the enemy's formation. The Battle of Gaugamela, fought in 331 BC, marked a pivotal moment in history as Alexander the Great faced off against the Persian king Darius III. This clash took place near the village of Gaugamela, present-day Iraq, and was a critical engagement in Alexander's conquest of the Persian Empire. Alexander's army, though outnumbered by the Persians, was highly disciplined and skilled. It's estimated that Darius III commanded anywhere from 100,000 to 250,000 troops, while Alexander led around 47,000 to 50,000 soldiers. Alexander's innovative tactics and strategic maneuvers were key to his victory. Flexible formation, Alexander deployed his forces in an oblique formation, concentrating his best troops on the right flank. This formation aimed to refuse the left flank, drawing Persian forces toward it. Number 2 Battle of Cannae, 216 BC, Hannibal's victory over the Romans by utilizing the double envelopment tactic surrounding and defeating a much larger Roman army. The Battle of Cannae, fought on August 2nd, 216 BC, was one of the most decisive battles in ancient history, primarily because of Hannibal Barca's brilliant tactics and the staggering defeat he inflicted upon the Roman Republic. Hannibal, a Carthaginian general, had invaded Italy during the Second Punic War. Despite being vastly outnumbered by the Roman legions, Hannibal employed superior military strategy and understanding of the terrain to achieve victory. At Cannae, he faced an army commanded by the consuls Lucius Aemilius Paulus and Gaius Terentius Varro, totaling around 80,000 to 86,000 soldiers. Hannibal deployed his forces in a way that played to his strengths and exploited the Romans' weaknesses. 
He positioned his weaker center in a concave formation, luring the Romans to advance and engage, while his stronger and more flexible infantry units formed two crescent-shaped wings that curved backward. This formation was a risky move, but it was designed to encircle the enemy. No one battle of Thermopylae, 480 BC, the stand of the Spartans and Greek forces against the Persian army led by Xerxes, showcasing the power of strategic defense in a narrow pass. The Battle of Thermopylae in 480 BC stands as a defining moment in ancient history, highlighting the valor and strategic prowess of the Spartan-led Greek forces against the massive Persian army commanded by King Xerxes Watt. In the early 5th century BC, the Persian Empire, led by King Xerxes, sought to expand its territories into Greece. Xerxes amassed an enormous army, estimated to be hundreds of thousands strong, to conquer Greece. The Greeks, aware of the impending invasion, formed a coalition led by Sparta and Athens to defend their land. Location The battle took place at Thermopylae, a narrow coastal pass in central Greece. The geography of the pass was strategically advantageous for the Greek defenders as it narrowed into a confined space, limiting the Persian army's ability to utilize its numerical superiority. These battles and strategies showcase a variety of tactics, innovations, and historical significance in shaping the course of warfare and history. If you found value, entertainment, or information in our video content, we kindly encourage you to consider subscribing to our channel, as your support not only motivates us to create more engaging content, but also ensures you stay updated with our latest releases and contribute to the growth of our community.